Hey it's Erin. I wanted to make a second video to review the soft hair aura. My first video was not a review so you can skip the first one and watch this one. Now I will show you how you can manage each product by using aura. Once you purchase a deal price at $39 one time cost, you will get a code or more codes depending on how many you made a purchase a deal. I didn't even watch their tutorial video or try to find it because it is so easy to navigate. I already created five different products under my business name right here. And you can view looks like this, or you can go ahead and click this little icon on the right side to view each of the products. And you can go ahead and click this little icon on the where your the business name is showing. Yeah, this is where you can find a setting, preference, we have manage members, billing change plan, and we'll see reports. And here is where you can switch organization to add your organizations, you can go ahead and click this little plus sign right here. And here's the where you can create your another organization if you want to. And also you can separate your products business and this is a personal. I didn't create any personal products yet, but I'm going to show you in a minute. Each card, you will find a little three dots right here. So you can go ahead and click this to uh, add to pinned, invite member, see reports, move to anywhere you want. And here's the settings and archive project. Okay, let's go to the personal and you can create your new project by clicking create new projects right here. Or you can click this little plus sign, you'll find a new project, I'm going to click this new project, here are the templates you can choose it from, or you can import it or continue without templates. I always use the business and product management and hit use templates. So next is going to ask you about the product name. So I will say this is a test product. And this is where you can add a member if you want to. Here's so you can add an icon if you want to as well. Here so you can change your background or you can upload your own background. I will choose this and confirm and create product. Now you do have a different background. You do have these different sections to add a test. So first one is going to be to the list in progress needs a review or done. So you can change it by clicking on the little three dots on the right side. You can click that and you can click on the edit list. So you can change name needs review to different ones. For example, I'll say test and test. You can change the color if you want to. I'll just change to the yellow and hit OK. Save it. Now you can see the name has changed and also the color has been changed. If you want to change image, you can go ahead and click this little three dots and here you can change background. In order to add any task if you want to, you can go ahead and click this add task or you can find the exact same ones by clicking right here, new task. But I'm going to just this one to click it and add a task. This is my first task. Hit enter or you can go ahead and click this Add. Now it has more features inside of this each test. You can go ahead and click this icon to change your test, right click it and you'll find where you can set up your due date. So today's due date, tomorrow, next week or next month, or you can choose calendar. We can select this, add a label, assign, move to due dates and archive, right click again and edit task if you want to label if it's exactly the same thing here, archive and everything. And you can left click it to add your description. Confirm it and you will find all the history and you can also add your comments and hit send. And also you can delete this comments by click this delete. Uh, on the top right side, you can also add due date, add a label, attach file, add a checklist, vote up and watch, repeat test in more actions, move to duplicate archive. When you're done with this task, you can drag and drop to in progress, test to test or done. So once you move any task into the done, it will be automatically to cross out of your task. If you want to add your task, section like each section right here you can go ahead and click this plus button new list and you can add a new one right here and when you click on the little three lines on the right corner you will find all the activity listen right here you can go ahead and click this little gear icon product setting description and we have the added website link if you want to add anything 
We have a permission section. We have a customization, export, delete products. You can click this delete products, typing on your product name in order to delete it. Now I just completely deleted my products. So this is the each process. You will find it by clicking this, the products menu, and you can click this, the second one to see all your due dates. And the third one is the report track time. And so we have a test progress, which is you will find all this and created and review and closed. And these are all the listings. I was testing it and I was adding to, to do my product. Here you will find your logo design. You can go ahead and click this to change your theme and change to different one. For example, if you want to have your dark, dark design, warm, different ones, and this is default. Aura Software is for who is doing a lot of works to remember each task and manage them for yourself or with your team. I already use Aura for all my tasks to be checked or reviewed. If I missed something in this video, please leave a comment. I will try to edit later. I highly recommend grabbing the Aura deal since it's only $39 to use the software. You can click the link to access to the deal sites to learn more about it. Thank you for watching and I'll make more great videos. Yes.